Stretching is important, and as programmers, we should do it more often. Stretch, stretch it, full stretch. Ryan, you want to stretch? I stretch before I can. Okay. So let me show you how you can make your app bar more flexible. We'll use this demo as an example and you can get the code on GitHub. Clone the Flutter UI tips repo and open the tip number one folder. While you're there, give it a star because I'll be adding more tips to it. Wink. Start off with a custom scroll view and add some slivers. These can be any of the many Flutter slivers. In this example, we have a sliver list, which returns a widget that has all of the Elastigirl's details and all of the text you can see on the screen. We don't care about that. We care about the sliver app bar. Drop that widget in at the top so that it is the first sliver. We'll give it a background color and set the expanded height. This is the default height of the app bar when no scroll has occurred. Next, add a flexible spacebar widget to the flexible space attribute. This widget will be stacked behind the toolbar and the app bar. We'll add a title, center that, add a background image, and steal this image from Wikipedia. Set the fit to cover so that it fills the available space. Then wrap that image in a stack, make sure the fit is set to expand, and above the widget, we'll add a decorated box widget, which gives it a nice faded shadow at the bottom. So now you can clearly see the white title. Cool, but now you'll see that it does this weird effect when scrolling. Not exactly what we want. To change this behavior, all you need to do is add some stretch mode to the flexible space bar. Add stretch mode.zoom background and set the stretch attribute to true. And now it zooms in when you scroll. You can also fade the title. or make it blur the background. Finally, if you want, you can specify a callback to be triggered when the stretch is happening and control when this is called with the stretch trigger offset property. Anyway, that's it. Really cool. Hope you like it. Give this video a thumbs up and leave some ideas in the comments for what you'd like to see next. 